Hi guys, day 169 and I had to make this video. Now, um, I had to make the video early. Um, it is still day 168, but I'm doing this video for day 169, okay? Um, the reason I'm doing this early is because I have a gig to go to, a legitimate gig to go to, and I have to take all my own work to show off so that I could do face painting you know, under Catman Do Face and Body Art. All right, so what sparked all this? Let me tell you. You know, the whole problem I've had with A, amusement performers, and I probably shouldn't have gotten into it, but I felt I needed to uh, to help protect those around me and my friends, okay? So this kind of contradicts what I said in my Day 168 video, all right? Well, I received an email this morning from A, amusement, okay? From a gentleman who I don't even know, who I have not researched yet, but I really shouldn't have to because this is how unprofessional they are, okay? Hi, Mr. Daniel, with an E. Can't even spell my name right, okay? My name is Mark Breland. I'm Mr. Steele's assistant. He wanted me to inform you you need to make a video ASAP retracting everything you have said. Also, write on all your blogs, same retraction, or else. Thanks. Does that sound professional? Doesn't sound professional to me at all. So, I replied back, okay? I replied back with, Dear, Miss, Dear Mark Breland, what do I need to retract? I have not said anything that was not true and have statements to ah, I have not said anything that was not true and have statements to back it up. I'm sorry, I'm really pissed off and I'm stumbling on my words, okay? If you want to try and come after me, you can, but you will lose. So make your decision wisely before you dig yourself in a deeper hole. Alright? That was my reply. I also posted this as an update on Facebook. So if you're watching this on Facebook and you're following it, I posted all my replies and all his replies, you know, original message and everything, okay? So you guys can keep track of how unprofessional this person is and you can warn other people about him too, okay? Now, I was told by some individuals in comments that I have nothing to worry about because there are no, you know, it's not slander if you're stating fact. Now, if you're maliciously trying to ruin their business and stuff, then yes, it could be a legal matter. But, if you know me, and I hope you do, maliciousness is not necessarily my intention, okay? But the thing is, when you start using racial slurs at people, you start yelling at them, telling them they're pieces of crap, that they've been doing this since 1970, which we know the work was not there in 1970, okay? Using other people's photos, whether you have removed them from your Facebook account or not, or have blocked people so they can't see it, so you can try to hide behind your, you know, illegal activities. All right. So, his reply to my reply was everything very few statements have little truth although most are outright lies this will be our last email thanks mark okay so if you've taken a look at my day 160 and day 161 blog entries and you have followed along with me you will know that these are not lies how can they be lies if I am taking actual snapshots of the post that this person is making. His name is Lakari Steele. I'm not hiding this name because he's out there for everybody to know. Alright? So the fact is, you can see in day 160 blog entry, I have statements that he made on a certain individual's YouTube channel that was racial slurs. Okay? I also have Statements made from other people. I have other entries and stuff. Day 161, I have the whole forum from the UK forum that states the same thing and actually puts it all in there and stuff. 
So how is this lying? How is it outright lies? You know, there are plenty of people that have commented on Facebook. Oh, I see such and such as photos. I see my photos. I see, uh, oh, they got rid of everything except for this person's photos. So how is this an outright lie? It's not. It's not slander. These are facts, okay? So if he wants to have me retract everything I say, I'm sorry. I cannot retract the truth. And that is going to be his downfall because their arrogance is really getting them in a hole. And they're going to dig it even deeper, okay? So I replied back to that one, even though this is his last email. I said, Mark, you don't have to write back since you stated that was your last correspondence with me. But I want to tell you that nothing I said was a lie. How can you call it a lie when I took snapshots of the messages Lakari Steele made on other sites? How can you look at them and say there is no racism or prejudice? Okay? How can Mr. Steele tell lies himself and claim them as truth? If you would like to take me to court and settle this, I will be happy to supply them with pages of documentation and statements by artists who have been wronged. Okay? This is a losing battle for you, and you can either do right by apologizing to the artist who Mr. Steele attacked and retract all indecent remarks, or you can go down the road you really do not want to. Okay? I left it with one little line, because... You know how I try to make these as professional as possible, even though they may sound rude sometimes. Thank you for your time and corresponding with me, but as a professional in this field, I will not back down from what is right. So far, I have posted this on Facebook, and I have gotten nothing but likes on this, okay? I have not gotten any dislikes or bad remarks. I have everybody backing me up on this, at least for the time being. Okay, I know certain individuals who would rather stay out of this, and I totally agree with them. You know, if they don't want to confront this, that's fine and stuff. But the way these people are going is not like yesterday's incident, okay? This is actually going after people and threatening them, all right? These people are totally unprofessional. I have comments that people made about how unprofessional they were in the field, okay? How can you do something for tips, and then because you didn't get a tip, wipe a child's face off right in front of their parents? How can you do that? How professional is that? That's very unprofessional. Okay? So, I didn't see that. I know somebody else who has and stood 10 feet away. And it's posted in the blog, which I will put those links down below so you can see them. I will also post... This email that I have on my computer, the whole thing. So read it from bottom to top in its order so you can see it for exactly the way it is and the way they wrote it. See how professional they wrote and see how professional I wrote. And let's see what happens. I haven't got a reply back because they said that was their last email. Maybe I'll hear from their lawyer next. If you have a statement to make, if your picture was stolen and you want to make a statement please email me at catmandu at g um, excuse me catmanduFBA at gmx.com I will post that email address down below for you to click on and to send me an email all right send me an email stating what pictures they stole from you if any okay what comments they made to you if you had uh, responded to them politely to ask them to remove photos that you may have had on there or somebody else's photos that were on there, okay? Give me all the information I can because if they take me to court, I need you guys to help back me up because this is ludicrous. I don't think they're going to take me to court. I think they're full of fluff, you know? They're standing on their last leg. They're trying everything possible right now to make themselves look good and to save face. Right now, they don't have anything. So, you know, retracting. Uh, here's my video, Mr. Lakari Steele. I'm retracting nothing. I hope you like it. Because I have stated nothing but fact. All right? So if you want to take me on, go ahead. Try it. Let's see what happens. 
but thanks guys for watching this. I hope you got a lot of information out of this. I hope that you'll spread the word around about this company and make sure that nobody else gets screwed over by them. Okay? So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I'll talk to you guys later, and happy painting. Bye.